Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you find these videos and as useful and subscribing to the channel. In today's session, I'm here to show you how to configure our replica domain controller within Azure. So the reason I'm uh, having this session is because what I see is a lot of organization, uh, they have uh, on-prem environment and in which they have their forest, obviously, the domain controller, and uh, they're also deploying resources. So they wanna have some sort of hybrid kind of environment, right? So what they want is, uh, because their application still requires uh, Kerberos or authentication dependency, so they're creating a replica DC in Azure, and then whatever uh, machines they're deploying, they can domain join that. So it serves two purposes. Obviously, you can domain join the machine, and secondly, uh, this can also act as uh, as from the redundancy purposes in case something happens to this on-prem DC, you have uh, this option of uh, the replica domain controller which can be used, right? So I was thinking of creating this uh, and putting this in, in, in a video. Now, because I don't have any on-prem uh, uh, domain controller or any forest, what I've done is that uh, I have everything in the cloud. So this is my environment. I have two machines. It is uh, ITDC1 and ITDC2. This machine is already promoted the domain controller. The name of my domain is ITS.com. This has an IP of 192.168.0.4 and this has an IP of .5. Right. So idea is that I want to upgrade this and uh, create a replica DC. So you get the concept, right? So in case you have on-prem infrastructure, you can do that very similar. Uh, but in case it is everything in Azure, uh, you can also use an Azure ADDS uh, services, which is another one which I've talked about in my previous video. But this is the concept, right? So that you get an idea about uh, why I'm creating this session. And the steps that I'm gonna show you will be pretty much uh, same. Uh, other than you know a few things on a, on a broader level it will be pretty much same and uh, name of the site is Toronto on my uh, existing DC so just to show you on my environment as I said that I have two machine DC1 and DC2 and this has dot four and dot five IP address and if I go into the RDB session which I've already so this is the name of my domain and further, if I can go into users and computers, you can see that the domain controller, there's only one right now uh, in the forestits.com. And uh, if I go, can go into the sites and services, it is all under one site with the name Toronto. So here we go. Right, so it's all under the one site, right? So idea is to have a, a replica DC. So the first step that you want to do is, which might be different from on-prem because you need to first add this to the uh, to the uh, to the domain. I will go to my DC2, expand networking, expand the network interface, and under the DNS server, I'll make it custom and uh, make it 192.168.0.4, which is the private IP of ITDC1. It's a private IP of uh, this machine. It's dot four, right? Okay, so it's updating. So if I can go back to the RDP session on this machine, I will go to local server. It is not part of the domain. I will go to work group, go to change. I want to make it a member of the domain. Click on OK. It is asking for the domain credentials. Okay, welcome to the domain. I will need to restart this machine. That's fine, restart now. Okay.
Okay, so now I'll go to the add roles and feature, go to next. Keep on going, select the machine. I'll pick domain services. Take the associated features with that. Take all these default, go to next. Check the box for restarting the machine in case it is required and click on install. And let's wait for a moment. expand the notification promote this machine to a DC so we what we want is we already have a forest so we want to add this to an existing domain and the name of the domain is its.com and uh, you need to provide the user which is uh, has domain credential let's go to next so this will be a DNS and a GC so pick the site name as I said the name of the site is Toronto let me give the DRS, DSRM password go to next next again and uh, it's saying that uh, you want to replicate this from so we have only one machine which is ITDC1 that is what we want to replicate uh, if you want to do in production environment you don't want to save this on a C drive but it's for the lab, that's okay with me. You get a brief summary of the selection that you have made. Click on next. All prerequisites check passed successfully. Click on install. Okay, so it is asking me to restart the computer, which is okay. Okay, so the machine is getting restarted. So just let's wait for a second and we'll RDP into that machine and we'll see actually if, actually we're gonna test if the replication is taking place or not. So, I'm going to go back and uh, now try to use my domain credentials. I think it's still restarting, so let me just try one more time. Let me just give it a minute. Yeah, it takes some time for that machine to uh, reboot. So now I'm logging into that. Okay. For some reason it is not. Uh
now it lets me in so it takes some time Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll go to my primary DC and now go and expand my ADUC. And hopefully, so as you can see that I have now the secondary domain controller. So we have successfully added the replica DC over here. And uh, if I go to my sites and services under the Toronto site, I should see the other one too. So you can see that the other one is also added. So let's do it this way. Let me just go to my AD users and computers on my primary DC. And let me just create a user here and see if it is replicated or not. Okay, so. Okay, so Krishna, as you can see, that on DC1 was added successfully. Now, if I go to my DC2, replication might take some time. Uh, you can also specify or you can also change the schedule, but let me just see for test purpose. So here you can see that uh, Krishna has appeared, so it means the replication is taking place. And we have successfully uh, configured our replica DC in Azure. You can use the same concept in case you have on-prem infrastructure, you want to create a replica DC in the cloud. Uh, these are the steps to follow. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.